Hi everyone, um, I'm Aisha Chidole. I'm an attorney here in Florida. And um, today on Legal Mamba Jamba Wednesday, I'm gonna be talking about trademarks and Instagram. So basically, unless you've been living under a rock, everybody knows that social media has become a global phenomenon. Um, in particular, um, Facebook and Instagram, you know, I don't have the figures, but I know several billions of people tune in daily to watch them and you know as a result you know many people um, many people have catapulted their businesses um, just by posting photos and videos without ever spending you know a marketing dollar you know as opposed to you know before in the past where you know to reach the level of success you know that people have you know reached in following and an engagement they would have had to spend a lot of money but many people have been able to do that organically and of course with that um you also have people that have done that without um creating like um i guess you know a platform for themselves outside of you know Instagram and Facebook so today I just wanted to talk about how you can really protect you know your trademark you know and still use um, Instagram and be successful and reduce you know I guess you know the amount of infringement or potential infringement that you may have when it concerns your brand um, which sometimes might be inevitable depending on how big your brand is. So, you know, one of the tips is that, of course, when you um, launch your business, the minute you launch your business or you, you know, you register it or you, um, you know, you, you know, you get an LLC or corporation, the first thing you wanna do is basically when you're ready for consumers or customers to know about your business is you wanna claim your Instagram um, name. You want to claim whatever trademark you plan to trademark um, or register in the future. You want to claim that name. And the reason why you want to do this is because Instagram works on a first serve, first, um, first come, first serve basis. So if you don't claim the name, somebody else can claim the name. So um, what do you do if somebody else claims the name? So what you do is you want to... Um, you know, claim a name that is most similar to your trademark. So for instance, let's say um, your name is Jack Daniels and that's what your business is gonna be and what you're gonna trademark um, and somebody else has Jack Daniels, one of the things you can do is you can claim Jack Daniels and just use um, characters to distinguish yourself from the other person like with an underscore, you know, or Jack Daniels one, Jack Daniels underscore, basically something that still shows that, you know, this is your trade name and, you know, what you plan to use. Um, and of course, you know, monitor whoever else um, that has the actual original name you want to use because sometimes some people stop using the name or change the name because you can change your name and when that happens then that's your opportunity to get the um, exact name you want. Um, you know, one of the things, of course, to keep in mind is that, you know, because somebody has your name um, or your business name on Instagram doesn't necessarily mean that they're infringing on your trademark or violating your trademark rights. You know, you know we always want to look at the context um, of why they have that name because, you know, if they're in a different industry that's not confusingly similar to yours, it doesn't confuse your um, potential demographic or client, then um, it's not generally an issue. It's only when, you know, your potential clients and customers are confused because, you know, the names are confusingly similar, then that becomes an issue. Um, so an example is, you know, Apple and, you know, um, I think it's, is it, is it called Apple Corpse or basically the record label that um, I think they basically produced the Beatles. So while these are two, um, you know, similar names, they're in completely different industry. One is more related to electronics and one is related to record label. So there's no confusion there. The people that are looking for the record label know what they're looking for and the people looking for electronics know what they're looking for. And last, um, but not least, you know, um, a lot of people, um, as I've noticed on Instagram, they tend to, um, you know, if they have like a big platform on Instagram and they've sort of created their brand that way, they don't have a website. Basically, they don't have a website that's their main foundation because, you know, 
think of um, social media as real estate, you know, and it's where you're renting. So your um, property is your domain name and your um, website URL. So let's use Jack Daniels again as an example. You know, um, it's important not just to have the Instagram name, but it's important to have Jack Daniels, the website. The reason why is because, you know, as we've seen, you know, different social media platforms come and go, you know, not to date myself, but, you know, I remember MySpace and like High Five or something like that. I mean, I don't think those things um, exist anymore, or if they do, um, I'm sure, you know, most people don't use it. And so you probably won't find as much clients as you would as what's currently trending. But, you know, at the same time, while it's trending, these are also sites that can crash. These are also sites that can change your policy or how they want to do market. So it's always important to have somewhere where you can basically transfer your followers to or your client demographics to, to say, you know, this is where you can order. So like, for instance, you know, some people, you know, when you purchase something from them through their Instagram account, like the link is PayPal. So one of the things you want to make sure that you consider is doing it through your website just basically you want to have your real estate so um those are um basically the tips that i have um for you and then of course if um you ever feel that your trademark um is being infringed upon um on instagram one of the good things about instagram is that they have a help um um, or report button that you can click on and then you can actually file a trademark um, infringement um, report and then that can be investigated and depending on the results of the investigation then you know they can either ask the person to remove it or you know let you know that the person is not infringing on your trademark so um, of course I'm an attorney but I'm not a your attorney this information is just for educational information and informational purposes if you like this video, I appreciate a like and a share um, and see you guys next week. Have a great day. Bye bye.